What we are going to focus on today is your velocity enhanced bundle. Okay. It has been loaded into your account if you've signed up for Gold Rush. Um, and what does that actually mean? What is included in your actual velocity bundle? You've got four added features. The number one is what we call an SMS, a short message send, just like a text. The company that provides it through Velocity is Twilio, and you are messaging people to their cell phone directly from your Velocity account. Easy account access. Brilliant. This is where you send a link to any applicant, and they then take that link, sign into their online banking, and safely and securely send bank statements directly to the deal. The third enhanced part of the bundle is the validation. You can get a property validation. It downloads directly to the deal. It's available in a report to share with the lender, actually even the client. And it is pulling from across Canada. Opta is the company that provides it and the data loads directly to the deal. And finally, DocuSign. Probably the most of you in all your business, you have an e-sign provider. We have taken the number one provider across Canada, safe and secure, and we've landed that right into the deal. So there's no outside processes. You don't have to save the documents on other devices. You have them in the deal. You send them directly to the client and it comes back signed and available to send out. So all of these four features are loaded into your account and they absolutely, I guarantee, will speed up and streamline your business. Now, how do you get these for the next 90 days for free? Okay, no cost to you. It's the gold rush, right? Unlock that gold rush advantage. So coupled with the enhanced bundle, you also have those beautiful curated campaigns available. So remember, if you haven't signed up, it is a DLCG exclusive. As of May 15th, there may be an added cost. Let's avoid that and get you signed up. So included in the enhanced also is those campaigns and bundled together, that's what we call Gold Rush, okay? You've got touch points from the campaigns. It's gonna be SMS. It's also going to be email. And then that's where, when you add that bundle in there, you've got Twilio in for 12 months. It's absolutely going to be a game changer for your business. So what I want is to give you an opportunity. Please download this QR code. It takes you directly to the sign up. Provide those details. You're going to get a DocuSign. Sign that up get registered and you will be assigned a uh, gold rush specialist of which I am one of them as is Michael and we will be in touch. Okay. So hopefully let's launch into the first feature, right? It is Twilio. This is a game changer with gold rush. You get this free in your account for 12 months. What you can do, you actually text directly from your velocity account. You're probably right now even taking your eyes off this session because you're looking at a text that's popped up. So automatically, it increases the read rate. You will get a faster response time. Somebody will respond to that text. It's either getting pinged or it's lit up. You also have the history tracked right in the deal. And you're using your full keyboard. It's no more of those big thumbs that actually can uh, hold you back. Sometimes you get those errors. So let me demonstrate and jump into a Velocity account and show you exactly what that looks like. So here I am in my Velocity account. Where does that actual number live? If you're following along, open up, go into the me and go into your settings. So you're into one, two, three, applications over. It is the company called Twilio. And once you are connected, you will have a settings icon here. Simply click on that. 
and there is your text number, okay? You don't have to memorize it. It's always available there for you and you can just close this down. Now, how do you use it? You've probably got your mind racing. I love that. But let's show the one demonstration of where we're using it in the CRM for you, right? We've already curated some of those SMS campaigns. What if you want to create your own SMS template? Super easy. You simply go over to the Velocity CRM, open this up, and open link in a new tab. You make that choice, and then you will have Velocity opened up, and you will also have the CRM open in a separate tab. I want you to go all the way down to Templates. Now, over here, you're going to create your own email template. We are looking at SMS, everyone. So just pop over into SMS. I have a couple loaded. You may be seeing blank here. And we just want to show you how easy it is to create one on your own. So anytime you want to send a message from your CRM, pop into Create SMS. This is basically where you create them. It is a blank one. You can give it a name. This name is not viewed by the recipient, okay? And why don't we just make this timely because we just had the Bank of Canada rate announcement today that they were gonna hold steady. So possibly you wanna send this out today that the Bank of Canada made this announcement. Let's do it. Down below is the message. You have all these merge fields that you can pull from. All this information is available and is pulling from your Velocity account, everyone, okay? So let's go in here. Maybe the message is just gonna be, hello. You can, if you wish, actually, personalize this because it's gonna pull to all your contacts and pull in their first name, right? So recipient first name, hello. Maybe an exclamation mark. And then just, you know, latest, is Bank of Canada held great, right? Please visit my, and what can you do here? Why don't you pull down your website, right? Please visit my website for further updates. A little further more. That easy. Now make sure you wanna give them your contact details. You do you need to type it in? No, you can put your first name in there, put your last name, and then always provide your cell number because the beauty of this is actually, it is going to be going to their cell phone. And when they respond, it comes back to your actual email and a copy is gonna be kept in your Velocity account. So you've created your message, very timely. Now you need to send it. Let's go up to campaigns. It's just a one, two step into campaigns. I've got some created here, but let's just do one quickly from scratch. Create campaign. This is gonna be our Bank of Canada rate announcement. That's it. Over we go, let's get started. You have a few decisions to make. Is it going to everybody on your deal? No, you wanna send this text to all your contacts. Continue. Here's where you make the decision. We call it a channel. You are going to be choosing SMS. Next, is it dynamic? The answer is yes, because we want this to go to all of our contacts. If you want it to go to a select few, you would choose targeted and have a audience list. And your language of choice, we will be using English, but French is also available. And now that's it. Here's your choices of who this is going to. No further filters need to be made because you want it to go to all your contact base. Your stage is just gonna be Bank of Canada. And this is it. You've got a few more decisions to make and this is ready to go. That nice SMS template that you created, guess what? This is where you make the choice and put it inside here. So all the templates that you have created are here. You just make the choice. If you're still unsure, there's a last minute preview that you can take a peek at. Yes, you're satisfied with that, away you go. You do not need to create any additional rules and conditions. 
you do need to determine when you want to send this. We recommend, ideally, you give it a good 6 to 12 to 24 hours ahead. You are going to want to send this timely. So you probably want to choose a scheduled date and time of possibly later today and at least give this four, five, six hours. You make that choice. You press OK. The next decision you need to make is, do you want to have this sent to you first, which means it would go on your activity page, review it and then send it, or have it go automatically after a certain length of time. That's the only other decision you need to make. And then you would publish this and on the scheduled date and time, it would go into the queue to be sent. It's fantastic honestly. So it, it's that easy. Create the SMS template, pop it into a campaign and publish and watch your communication with your database absolutely soar. And remember, any responses to that are going to come back to your email. So you will not miss anything. What's another way you can use SMS? Let's pop back into the deal. I'm going to go back into my Velocity account. And from here, this is where we were under the me. There's your number. What if I'm in a live deal? Let's pop into here. I've got a live deal sitting here. I'm on the modern screen. Everybody, if you work in classic, no problem. We are going to be in the conditions and documents section. So I've got a client here. I actually just want to do a, a prompt. I have requested documents. I actually need to get the... Um, conditions done by April 12th. So time is ticking. I need a letter of employment. I've sent an email already. Let's get a faster response time on this and let's send it via text. So just make the choice of what you would like to send under the actions button. Here is where you have your three columns. We are going to request documents via SMS. It's that easy. Request conditions and documents. This opens up. You make the choice of who you are sending this to. If you had more than one borrower on the deal, both options and both borrowers with cell phone numbers would pop up. You have the message already created for you. This is live, though, so you can add to this message if you wish. And you simply press send. Now, the beauty of this, everyone, is a copy of the communication is stored right in the deal. So now I've sent a text request. I pop this up. Guess what comes down below in the communication history? It's right here. Okay. So you are going to get those documents. I can guarantee you that person has just received that ping on their phone. They log in through the portal. They can take a picture. They can upload the documents, drag and drop it. You will get a response. Absolutely. So you have just upped the ante in your, uh, in your business, right? You are communicating via text, plus you're communicating via email is the other option for collecting docs right from the deal. Now, what if you have a lead? You, you don't actually have a deal, so you can't be texting from the deal. Absolutely. Search up the last name of either the lead or the contact. Okay, it's going to pop open. Here's my contact. I don't actually have a deal for this person, but I do want to stay in touch. Guess what? Right from the contact page, go over to this activity section and go into SMS and you will see communication going back and forth. It's absolutely fantastic. For audit purposes, it's brilliant. And you can send a message right from here. Just go, hi, still checking in. Boom. I send this instantly. It's recorded here. My recipient receives it. If there's an answer, as you can see in white, that will actually be the back and forth will be stored here on this page. And we've got an update coming as of Friday too. All those Velocity CRM messages that you send to your contacts, you will see a copy of them recorded here. So we've just improved the system even again. Okay, I'm going to pop back into our PowerPoint. I also wanted to bring up the fact that 
Emails absolutely are effective, but let's add in another layer, right? Let's add in the SMS texting. You've got a 90% open rate within three minutes. So don't, don't let this not be a part of your business. The next feature that's included in this bundle that you've got to take the opportunity to try out and add to your business is property validation. Absolute game changer. I'm going to show you how you do it, but in, in a nutshell, it is keying in the subject property details right into the deal. Then by pressing the validate button, Velocity connects with the cross Canada company called Opta that pulls all its information and loads it directly into the deal. So now that you've created a level of trust now, because when you send that data directly to the lender, you have actually saved them that step. Every underwriter actually has to validate the property. Guess what company they use? The same one that Velocity just connected you with, Opta. So let me show you how this can absolutely change your game. Let's go back into that deal. We're gonna get rid of this reference. And now we are going to go into our subject property. So open this up. And again, if you work in classic, no problem. Everything's fine. All you need to do is type in what you want the property address to do. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to type in this manually. This is actually going to be 3001. Quail Crescent. Okay, I'm just going to clear the address details. This is a property that I always... It's up in Kelowna. I don't know if anybody on the call is from Kelowna. I've keyed in the property, okay? The next thing you do, the second step, is you just simply click Validate. It's going to come up that you have actual credits. Remember, if you work within a team, you can be sharing these credits. Press Submit. And this is where Velocity is connecting with Opta. Make your choice as to what property and click validate. It's that easy. Now, what's happening is all the information is being populated. It's highlighted in green. And this now is available right here in the data to forward when you make your submission to the lender. And guess what's actually happening too? You are going to save time for your underwriter, for yourself and for your borrower. So what we're hoping here is that you're gonna fast track the approval. And the beauty is it takes maybe up to about a minute, this report is pending. You now have this validation available in a report. You can add it to the conditions and documents section, which means you're gonna send a copy of that to support this data directly to the underwriter. You actually can share it with your borrower and then a copy is kept directly on the deal, okay? So you have that to reference even in the future. So there it's been validated. Let's take a peek at what the property validation looks like. It's actually packaged really quite nice. There's your property details, your PID, your municipal code, the legal description, Opta's address key. You and your details are over on the right. You've also got the deal number referenced there, pictures, and then here is the data that's pulled in. You've saved your underwriter a step. This may result also in you may be able to bypass a full appraisal. You might be able to get a drive-by, an automated approval, and remember, that's a time and a cost savings for your borrower. So absolutely add this, type in your own address if you want to see what's going to happen. You've got the credits there if you've signed up for Gold Rush. Take advantage, add this to part of your practice, and let's get things fast-tracked, okay? Your, your underwriter is going to absolutely love you. And remember, add this to the conditions and the documents. You can download it. You, it's available for viewing. If this ends up not being the property that the borrowers are going to, maybe if this is purchasing or refinancing, all you need to do, you simply would archive this, okay? And then you clear it and away you go and you type in another possible potential property that the clients are interested in. It's a game changer, everyone. It's speed, it's efficiency, 
And honestly, your lenders are going to love you. And remember, you've got 200 credits sitting in there. Okay. Don't let that go to waste. Absolutely add this to part of your process. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to our third feature. And that is basically where your client, it's called easy account access. You send them a link. So absolute value added and they access their online banking and download the statements. It goes electronically from their bank account to the deal. It's, it's brilliant. And remember what there's two caveats. Just ensure that your clients do online bank. I know in this day and age, it doesn't seem possible, but it is something that you need to confirm. And then number two, ensure that their preferences on their online banking have e-statements enabled. Those are the two caveats that need to be um, existing for easy account to be successful. Now, they can provide up to you 12 months. It's so convenient. They can actually reuse that link and go into, for instance, if it's, you know, Scotia, then they use the link again to go into TD, multiple financial institutions. The security of it is absolutely phenomenal. And that is the that is why we really promote this. Flinks is our third party provider. They are the leading financial data gateway provider in Canada. And it is really it's. I almost, it's, I say the future, but actually the future is now. So this has been happening for a few years. It's something that I think will really reassure your clients. It's not sending bank statements that, you know, the data breach is, is happening. So let it be safe and secure. It's not bank statements attached to emails. It's actually electronically sent. It's built right in so that we, we can send it and request it right from the deal using the, uh, the client portal. And remember, at this point, you have saved your clients having to do a branch visit. So that's another time saver. And we don't actually want at this point when you are just still at possibly reviewing documents to have an actual branch visit come up. Let, let's get your value added in there. So let's show you how you can actually provide this to your client. I'm back in Velocity. I'm in the conditions and documents section, and I'm going to expand that open. All that you need at this point is a bank statement condition. So let me show you how to add that. You simply go to add and upload conditions. In the drop down, you can type it in. I'm going to expand it and just show you it is normally under down payment. So there's my bank statement condition. I add it and now I have it available to request. So this is going to be for the borrower, Wolfie Daxon. If you had a second, third, fourth borrower, you would add a bank statement and have their name requested here. And then you just simply, I choose that this is the bank statement that I'm going to request. And then up here in the icons, you can actually see, here's the e-sign icon. So by choosing this along here, it lights up in blue, which means it's actioned. I'm just going to expand this so that you can see along here. You can also make the choice down below. Okay. That's another option. So here I go. I've got my bank statements. I'm going to be requesting it. Up I go under to my actions button. This is where you make the decisions and it's through the portal then I'm actually gonna request these documents. If you are sitting right beside the borrower, you absolutely can access bank statements directly with the client, okay? But we wanna request this. We're not in the, in the same room with them. So use your portal. Here it is. Now you make the drop down and you add the borrowers. That's a nice little time saver. It shows what the email is. There's your subject line, you can edit it. And then the key here down below is going to be that portal where they can actually access it. So off you go, that gets sent. Now what the borrower is gonna receive is that email asking them to log into that client portal. So once that email opens up, here it is, I'm just going to, drag that over so that you can see this email. And then it is here. 
right through here that your client would click on upload documents and then they would get taken to where they can actually request those bank statements, okay? They would log into the portal. So where I wanna show you the steps for that is right here. The next thing that they're gonna see is we're using Flinks, okay? They can do, open these drop downs and they would actually connect. That's their next step. So they're seeing this via email. Now, for the sake of our demo, we have Flinks as our demo account. Your borrower would then say, well, you know what? I need to provide my documents from TD. They would get out their TD bank card and start logging in. They type in their username, they type in their password, press continue. If they've got two-factor authentication, then they would have that question to be answered. And then boom, they are now in their bank account. They make the choice of what accounts they wanna send you and how many months. We can actually accept up to 12 months. Flinks can provide up to 12 months at this point. And that's it, they get a message, success. And you now will get an email saying that you have received bank statements from the borrower. And now we're gonna launch back into the deal and I'm gonna show you where you find them, okay? It's that easy. So we'd be closing this down. Back we go into the deal, everyone, and this is what you would see. Now we're in the bank statement. So just for the sake of our demo, um, that's the one that we sent. I already did have statements here. So you would come back to the deal. You would see this select statements would be existing, okay? That means your clients have provided documents. You simply click on select statements. In the dropdown, you can see they provided you from the investment account, from their Canadian checking and their Canadian US. And all you do is open this up and there you got, they actually provided you the last 12 months. If you wanted to narrow this down and only see the last six, possibly even the last three, it's all available. Let's go back to 12. Maybe I do want all of these. I can select all and then I can move on to checking Canadian. Maybe I only want to save the last six months. Okay, I make my choice and then I go to US. So it's absolutely safe, secure. What if we want to take a peek and see what these statements actually look like? Remember, this is a demonstration. Up we go. This is where the statement actually unloads and you can take a peek at it. And your lenders love this because it is actually all already certified. It's coming directly from the bank. Okay, and you've got all transactions listed on there. And then you would save that to the condition and all these statements would be available to send to the lender. It's that simple, everybody. Your clients will love you. And remember, this is available if you are sending out your online link, your client experience, and you have the easy account customization on, your clients, in the, as soon as they're filling out the application, will be prompted to get out their bank card and provide you with their bank statements. So it's an absolute game changer. It's safe, secure, it's fast, and um, your lender will love you. Okay, let's move on to DocuSign. You have done all the hard work. You've got everything done. You might have an approval in place. You need something signed and you need it efficiently. DocuSign honestly is the answer. What we've taken is the number one e-sign provider across Canada. It's safe, secure, and we've landed it right in your Velocity account, right within the deal. So it absolutely streamlines everything. Once those documents are in your Velocity application, they're available to use for DocuSign. Um, it's going to go directly to your clients and come back to the deal. So again, very, very secure. You don't have to store it on an outside file. And any of the documents, uh, and I'm thinking specifically here, provincial compliance forms, provincial disclosures, mm -hmm. anything that's generated directly in Velocity, mm -hmm. those documents are already pre-templated with where the client needs to sign. So let me show you this. Let's show you exactly where you can use this. 
So I'm back in my velocity account, everybody. Again, classic, absolutely, we're in modern. And let's make some choices. I'm in my conditions and documents section and let's pretend we actually, we've got a signing package available. All you need to ensure is that you have the forms in PDF, okay? There's my little green icon. I've already created the MPP insurance. What do I need to do? I need to choose it and then I need to say what the action is and I'm gonna be using eSign. So I simply choose that icon because the MPP was generated within Velocity, the system knows it and also chooses the correct PDF. What else do I wanna include? Well, I've got a gift letter here. So I also have a third party that's gonna be added into my send. We call them envelopes. You're gonna have 400 envelopes available via the Gold Rush package and as many recipients with as many documents. So take advantage of that. I've got my gift letter already loaded. I choose this document, and then I just need to put the action that I will be doing. Expand this open and ensure that the PDF is correctly chosen, okay? Next one, I'm going to actually get my commitment signed. Make the choice, what's my action? And down below, ensure that the correct PDF is chosen. Then I've got my provincial disclosures. I'm here in BC with the subject property. So I'm choosing my BC fixed. Now, because this is a provincial disclosure generated right, right within Velocity, the system chooses it correctly and puts the icon beside the correct PDF. And same with the form 10. I'll just open it up to show, but there you go. Now, how do I bundle this together and send it to the client? Under the actions button, what is my choice? I wanna send selected e-sign documents. So I pop that up. You have credits here that you can be sharing within a team. We're using DocuSign. We do have another e-sign provider called OneSpan, but within Enhanced, it DocuSign is what is used. Now here's your opportunity. It automatically brings forward the borrowers from the deal. So a major time saver. If you hover over that, it actually also shows what their email is. So at this point, if you're unsure, press cancel and ensure that it is going to go to the correct email. You can add a custom message and then ensure that everyone that needs to sign these documents is added to. So we've got a gifter. We've got good grandma that's helping with this purchase. So we want to get her to sign the actual gift letter. And remember, as in any e-sign, grandma is only going to get the documents that she requires action on. And who else is on here? You as the broker you actually are going to need in most cases to sign the actual provincial disclosures. So take the opportunity right now and add yourself to the signing. First name, last name, email, click on add client and you are ready to go. And if you're unsure at this point, you can always press cancel and start over at the beginning, no problem. This is going to count as one envelope, everybody. Look what you're accomplishing here. And it's right within Velocity. So if we open up here, you can see to the right, you have the documents. For the sake of this demo, let's go to the gift letter first and show you how we are going to get our gifter to sign this. There you go. We've made the choice from over on the right-hand side with the document that we want. Over on the left is all the people that we need to sign. Who needs to sign this actual gifter? It's going to be grandma. Now you've got a date in here. This should be pretty normal for everybody that's used an e-sign, but this is how easy it is. I'm just dragging and dropping. I've got a financial gift. Why don't we take the hard work for grandma? This automatically is a required field. Why don't we just change it to read only. And why don't we actually say, so that this saves the gifter having to put this in. 
how much this actually is, okay? 100,000. So now it's not going to be a requirement. We've done it. Made to, who is this actually made to? Well, this is going to the borrower. And why don't we pull the information? The name's going to populate. Everything's nicely color-coded too. You notice Wolfie is in purple. If I made a switch to the broker, it's in blue. And then also the gifters all in yellow. So it's really, really made simple for you that no mistakes are going to happen. I guarantee it. And then we confirm we are immediate relative of, again, this is going to be for the actual borrower. And down below, you would just keep going. It's this easy. Signature of the donor. That's back to grandma, pull it over. You would add in her name, address, put a text bar so you could fill that out. You've got the hang of it. Relationship to borrower, you would add a text bar and just fill that in. And why not do the next courtesy too of actually filling this in for her, okay? The next move you would do is keep going over here to the right and you could make the choice of going back up to the beginning we've taken care of grandma next is the mpp i want to demonstrate this because of your choices between a yes or a no we can't have both they have to make a decision how is that accomplished well let's make sure we've got the correct borrower and then you simply go down and choose the radio buttons i'm dragging and dropping over here it nicely opens with the opportunity for two. If you need three or four choices, you would just click on the plus and they would be added. Then I just pull this over. These are connected and that is going to be an either or an or. The borrower, it's a required field and they must make a choice, which is perfect. You don't want this form coming back to you without that completed. And that's it. And what else is on this form? This is the referral form. If it was the full questionnaire, again, you could put the radio buttons in beside the questionnaire. For the phone, I suggest you pull the text over. You can always expand it. And then you need an email. That information, look, is included. So we would just pull that over. And then you also, whether it's an acceptance or a decline, you do need the signature and the date signed, okay? And then we just move down. You can either move down through the documents over on the right or just scroll through and basically populate. That's our gift letter. Perfect. I wanted to bring you to, guess what? Here's a provincial disclosure. Time saver right here. Do you have to do anything with regards to the borrower? No, you don't. It's already templated for you. That's all done. The only person you would need to add to here is yourself. So flip up. You're the, bore, you're the actual broker. Pull over where you need to sign and you're good to go. So hopefully the idea of this and how easy it is, is demonstrated. Okay, you would go through and fill out the rest, get the commitment signed, and then you would send. The actual added benefit too in the drop down, you can also schedule this to go later. Maybe you're working late into the night, like I know you always do. You could have it go at a nice acceptable hour of possibly the next morning. And off you go. You would send this, okay? This is now sent to all three recipients. The only documents they see are the ones that require their action. Now, the beauty of this, everyone, is that you get the signed documents in your actual account, okay? I'm gonna close this up. I'm not gonna show the documents being signed. I think we're aware of what that is, but this is where the game changer is. You get a notification, the entire package has been signed. It's a live link to the deal. You jump into the deal and when you open this, through the beauty of demonstration, here you went. You would have these little icons showing complete. You're in the section. All you need to do is open this up, take a view, and you will see the actual completed document. All of them would be here. And guess what? You would then make your choice and you could now fire all of these, bundle this together. You've got your signed gift letter. You've got your signed commitments. You've got your signed disclosures 
and you can email them directly from the safety and security of your Velocity account, right? Conditions and documents and send these to your underwriter or possibly your solicitor. Maybe even the client, you wanna have them have a copy, even though they would do get copies once they sign it of um, what they have had to complete and they get to keep a copy at that point. And remember also all communication via email or SMS, everyone is kept. I'm just gonna close these up right under the communication history. So for audit purposes, for memory purposes, you're gonna be flying around now, we're into spring market from deal to deal, be organized and you've got each communication stored right below the deal in the communication history. Remember, if this is one training session, we're gonna hold possibly more. Um, we have the recording available. I hope you got out of here the benefit of these four features. They're living in your account right now. If you've got Gold Rush set up, use them. And if you need any future information, everyone, our training page is available at this link um, and also our training team at newton.ca. We're here for you. So absolutely start adding these to your business. It's, it's game changing. Yeah.